Welcome to the computer. We are now going to go over the bouncy ball scan. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to finviz.com. The homepage should look like this. Go ahead and scroll to the top and click on the screener tab. From the screener tab, go ahead and click on the tab that says all. Your screen should now look like this. There is going to be a total of seven different filters that we will be using that makes up the bouncy ball scan. We're going to walk through those one by one and I'll explain the thought process behind them. It's important to understand the thought process on these filters to get a better understanding of the psychology of the stocks that we'll be looking at. The first filter that we'll be using is current volume. So go ahead and scroll to current volume and select over 1 million. This will ensure that the stocks that we choose are liquid meaning it's going to be easy to get in the position and out of the position when you need to. The next filter is beta. Go ahead and click that filter and select over one. A beta of over one lets us know that these stocks are volatile, which will allow for a higher risk, higher reward setup. If you want more information on beta, I also put together a beta scan. You can click the link up here for that or the link in the description. That sets the framework for the bouncy ball scan. The next filter that we'll be using is going to ensure that the stocks that we look at are in bullish context. Go ahead and choose the 52 week high slash low filter and select the option 70% or more above the low. This will ensure that the stocks that we have to choose from or in bullish context, far from the 72 week low. The next three filters that we're gonna be choosing have to do with simple moving averages. The simple moving averages will allow us to identify a chart that is in bullish context. We're gonna be looking at three different moving averages, the 20, the 50, and the 200. The 50 period and the 200 period are known as godfather moving averages. When the chart is in bullish context, the 200 is going to be below the 50 and have a nice slope to the upside. So go ahead and go to the 200 day simple moving average filter and select SMA 200 below SMA 50. How the chart should look at this particular point in time is that our current stock price is about 70% above the 52 week low or more. And we have the 50 period above the 200 and the 200 obviously below the 50 period moving average. We already are in bullish context. On this filter, the 50 day simple moving average, click that and make sure that the price is above the 50 period moving average. This will ensure that not only the price action is above the 50, but the 50 period moving average is above the 200. This would suggest more bullish context. The next filter that we'll be using is the 20 day simple moving average. This is more of a shorter term moving average and is commonly used with trend trading. Go ahead and click that filter and make sure you choose the option where the 20 period is above the 50. Go ahead and click that. Now we have three moving averages, the 20 above the 50 and the 50 above the 200. The price action is currently above the 50 period moving average and the price action is also 70% above the 52 week low. This chart should be looking very strong. Now the final piece to the bouncy ball scan is this. We are looking for the stock to have a subtle pullback so then we can buy the dip and trade the bounce, hence the bouncy ball scan. So in order to do this, we're gonna go ahead and choose the filter that says 20 day high slash low. Go ahead and click that and choose the option that says 5% or more below the high. This would suggest that the current stock price is pulling back, but it's in bullish context. So it's our job now to look at the charts and find areas of support that the stock can bounce from. Notice we had a list of 80 different stocks to choose from. What I like to do is then go over to the volume column and double click that so the volume is stack ranked from highest to lowest. Now it's our job to look at the individual charts to find good setups. When I'm looking for an individual stock, what I want to see is a nice pullback and an area of support that the stock might bounce from. Here's one, ticker symbol KGC. 
What I wanna do is pull this up on stockcharts.com and tell you why. Here's ticker symbol KGC. Let's go ahead and see what the filters brought up. As you can see, the 50 period moving average, that blue line sloping up, is clearly far above the 200 period moving average that's also sloping up. This right here represents bullish context. We have the 20 period right here that the price has been pulling back from. And what I really like about this chart is that the candle that previously formed is what's called a hammer candle. And look where it bounced, right from around the 50 period moving average. These areas typically act as a level of support. The next piece that I really like to see is how it's pulling back. Clearly, it's getting rejected on this current trend line. It got rejected there once, tried to come back up, was rejected again, came back up, and was rejected again for a third time. Is this candle going to be able to push past this trend line to make new highs? Potentially, but we'd have to wait to find out. The next trend line that I see that's common is this one right here. Clearly, this trend line has been acting as a level of support. This pattern is known as a falling wedge. Falling wedges are bullish type patterns. So you have the stock rise from here all the way to here, which is very bullish, and we're seeing some consolidation take place. This could be gearing up for a bigger move to the upside. So how would you go about trading this bouncy ball scan setup? Well, you can buy in within this channel or you can wait for a breakout of the upper trend line. A target on this chart would really look like $10. That doesn't mean that you need to sell your entire position, but that would allow you to mitigate some of your position and capture in profits if the stock does lift up there. Now it's very important to always have a stop loss because just because this is known as the bouncy ball scan doesn't necessarily mean that the price is going to be bouncing from this particular point. If the price were to fall below this trend line or another area of support on a different stock, what you want to do is have a stop loss below that area to ensure that if the chart continues to break down, you're then saved from a larger loss. I hope this scan helps you find some very good setups out there. Let me know if it does in the comment section below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this content. It's greatly appreciated. See you later.